Welcome to Peter and Ruffy on the PLZ Soccer Show here. I know you're amazed. We're still here. Amazingly, with all this mad weather, Ruffy, you and I still managed to get to the studio mm. uh, to do this show on a daily basis. Yep, I have to say it was very difficult uh, getting here as it would be for everybody else, but once we hit the motorway, it was fine. Yeah. Ish. Ish. I was just about to say to you, uh, don't travel, just stick mm. where you are, wherever you're watching this Facebook Live. Uh, hopefully you're going to be tucked up over the weekend. The reason I uh, am suggesting that you're going to be tucked up over the weekend is because there's not my, very many games mm -hmm. on. In fact, I would suggest to you, Rafi, by the time we get to Saturday, there could be a complete whiteout mm -hmm. as far as football in Scotland. Yeah, it's unfortunate because there are a couple of big games on and uh, obviously most of these big sides have got the under soil heating which wouldn't be a problem for them but obviously travelling to and from the game is the biggest problem obviously yeah. the conditions and transport and everything and you don't want to miss out on these big games. Yeah I think the uh, the basis of today uh, certainly has been the SPFL called into action and just called off so many games uh, championship league one league two all fallen foul of the weather and uh, you know Dunfermline, Dundee United against St Mirren first of all uh, is off, Dunfermline Livingston as well sensibly called off. Uh, I think uh, as you mentioned as well Ruffy, some of the pitches might be playable if you worked really hard on it but the conditions on the motorways and some of them <coughs> today especially, uh, it, just a sensible option is not to play the football. Scottish Cup, interestingly enough Ruffy, they're waiting until tomorrow to make a call on the quarterfinal ties. Uh, you've got, you know, Celtic against uh, Celtic mm -hmm. against Morton. Uh, that's the early kickoff. I'd be surprised if they called that one on Ruffy. To be honest with you, it's quarter past twelve. Yeah, again, it's all about transport. It's all about people going to the game. We know, as far as Celtic's concerned, there's people travel from far and wide. And I'm talking about Ireland. You know, obviously, you've got to book these things in advance. So I think somebody's got to make a decision as early as possible because there's. No point in having these people travelling all that distance and then calling the game off maybe an hour and a half before it. So it's better letting everybody know where they stand and having another time. And can you see Aberdeen being on in the afternoon? No, I can't. I obviously saw pictures of what's happening up there, Peterhead, Aberdeen, that kind of area. And again, it's the outside, uh, you know, the transport, getting to the games, people even walking to the games, you know, is, is a sore one. Yeah, and I really can't see uh, the Sunday surviving Motherwell Hearts Rangers Falkirk as well, which is a disappointment, but it's just one of those freak situations. You know, <coughs> we've got a red alert, we've got amber and yellow as far as the snow's concerned, and the roads are very, very difficult indeed, um, which is a blow uh, for us, Robbie, because I was looking mm -hmm. forward to, uh, you know, the Saturday show mm -hmm. with all the excitement, all the, the, the stories that we were going to talk about. You know, um, of course, this was a let off. Um, for everybody in Scottish football ahead of the big games coming up there's an Edinburgh Derby to look mm -hmm. forward to and of course Rangers Celtic Yes and obviously Rangers motoring in at the moment you know I, I, I'm sure they'd be happy to go into the Celtic game uh, six points behind with that massive game at Ibrox coming up you know and uh, that'll be fantastic I'm sure the weather will be cleared for there but I think this is one of the biggest games of the season coming up yep so uh, no Scottish Cup ties um, we won't uh, have our program on Saturday afternoon on STV2 uh, roughly just due to the weather indeed so that's going to be wiped out for us what we will be back on the, uh, the Monday to look ahead to hopefully football when this weather uh, gets uh, sorted out, Ruffy. That's a key to us. I noticed that even Keith Lasley has cancelled his game against mm -hmm. his son out in his back garden because of the snowy conditions, although I, I, I was led to believe Keith had a hybrid pitch that mm -hmm. would have been able to, to handle it in his back garden. No, I think we've all saw the pictures. I'm surprised that uh, Keith uh, put that off because obviously we know his style of play and I thought these uh, conditions would have suited him. No, don't you, yeah, the, the good news is if you are watching us on our STV programme, we're going to do one on STV 2 uh, at half past seven on Friday night and uh, you'll get the repeat at half past ten. So we will chat about football. We'll get a, a little take on uh, the best of what we've been mm -hmm. what's been happening on the Friday show with our exclusive interviews with Brendan Rogers, uh, with Walter Smith, with uh, Ray McKinnon as well, all to look forward to and uh, Steve Archibald as well, not forgetting mm -hmm. him. Plus, of course, we'll <coughs> speak to Ian McGarry about what's going on down south. Well, I think the big question down there is Arsene Wenger. You know, obviously the, the, the fans have been, or certain amount of the fans have been trying to move him on for the last two or three years. 
Uh, I'm sure a lot of them will be thinking this might be the year with no Europe and no Cup win, so we'll have to wait and see on that one. Yeah, a little later on on uh, Facebook and also on Twitter, we'll post out uh, who we think um, should be in the Scotland eleven for Alex McLeish with the upcoming friendly coming up against Costa Rica on March 23rd. It's always good to pick the Scotland manager's team for him. Uh, we all do that in a pub from time to time. Uh, I've picked 11 out uh, ahead of this just to put a bit of pressure on Alex. Um, I've picked Craig Gordon at goal. I've gone for Callum Patterson at right back. Uh, two centre-halves. I've gone for Suter and McKenna. I'm listening to Derek McInnes. Tierney's in the left back. I'm putting Mulgrew in the holding just in front of them at the moment to add a wee bit of experience, mm -hmm. Ruffy. And then that four without Scott Brown. I'm leaving myself a little wide open here to a bit of criticism, but Forrest on one end, over on the far side, uh, you've got Andy Robertson. At the middle two, I'm going with Stuart Armstrong and potentially it could be mm -hmm. John McGinn or... Ryan Christie, mm -hmm. uh, and then up front on his own, Lee Griffiths. I mean, you can switch between uh, those guys, and let's not forget also you can call on the likes of MacArthur, you can call on also Callum McGregor, um, there are a few others mm -hmm. in there, Ryan Fraser <coughs> and Boardman. Yeah, yeah I think you've got the nucleus of that side uh, bang on. Uh, I'm, I would have went for a 4-5-1 a formation, uh, basically because we only have one striker. <laughs> yeah. well, we don't even have a him because yeah. he's injured. <clears throat> I think so, it means a 4-5-1 yeah. essentially as well. Yeah, I think the, the two full-backs, Patterson, yes, he's, after playing in the England game and being out so long for injury, he's doing very well down in England. The, him and Tierney would be the full-backs. The, the, the centre-halves, I agree with you, these boys should be given a chance. Oh, throw you them know, in. We've got throw it. them in at the two games, see how they do, because if they don't do particularly well, we've got Berra you know, there, we've got Mulgrew there, who played against England. Yeah. I mean, they're hard and fast. The wide players speak Robertson, Forrest, and then you've got the three in the middle. And yeah. the three in the middle are the most important three, I think, because we've got an abundance in there but the big question is who takes over for Scott Brown what kind of midfield player are we going to have in there yeah. I think if is Fletcher I think if <laughs> Fletcher no I, I don't think McGinn can play that position I don't no. think we need somebody who's just going to sit there you know and just bring the McGinn's into play and bring you know and so Fletcher might be the guy with his experience who can just sit there and pull the strings because obviously you know, the three in there have to be going forward, like Armstrong, McGinn. I like James Morrison. I think he's yeah. he, he's a good player for us. Matt Ritchie, you've touched on the other boy, Fraser. So it's a very, very inexperienced Scotland side, but that might be the way we have to go. Yeah, we'll post out the uh, two teams for you. I've already uh, picked earlier this week what we think will be the team of the season in the Premiership in Scotland. A few tweaks here and there. You might want to uh, argue over my choice. Certainly, Ruffy was arguing with me on it, uh, and so was Barry Ferguson. Barry, I think, like nine out of the 11. You can give us your thoughts on Twitter and Facebook at PLZ Soccer on Twitter and on facebook.com forward slash PLZ Soccer. Um, there's no need to go outside, stay safe, stay in your house, have a wee cup of tea, watch a movie, and if, you, if I had to give you the perfect choice of a movie that you would sit and watch, Ruffy, uh, over the course of the weekend, um, what would you watch? Can I suggest one to you? Yeah. Uh, that, that a movie that I've seen over the last couple of months that's absolutely fantastic? What? The Death of Stalin. <coughs> oh, I saw clips of that. That yes. looks very good. But Funny. obviously, uh, some of us don't have Netflix or pirate movies. So I don't know where I, I can see pirate. that. I don't have pirate movies. I went to the cinema <laughs> to see it. Any chance you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to go for an action movie. I'm going to watch On the Buses. Okay, that's a 1970s <laughs> one, which really is where Ruffy's <laughs> stuck, as you can tell by the mullet. Um, thanks for watching the PLZ Soccer mm. Show. We will be back with you tomorrow, uh, and we'll also have a wee chat with Ian McGarry about what's happening down south. Can Wenger survive? Uh, there'll be more talk on that and who potentially could replace him. Thanks for watching. <laughs>